My name is Aoife Ahern. I'm the College Principal in the College of Engineering and Architecture and the Dean of Engineering and I'm delighted to have the opportunity to speak to you today about the world of engineering at UCD. So first of all we're going to start off with a little short video showing you what the opportunities are in engineering. Will you come with me? Across bridges and railways. To feel the Atlantic's wave power. To brave new worlds. From the rudder to the engines. To making monsters. These things are there for me and you. From purifying water with reverse osmosis. To stopping cells dying. From apoptosis. Multiplayer online gaming. Clearing minds and saving lives. These things are there for me and you. Chartered Engineers, bringing dreams to life for me and you. So as you can see from that video, there's an awful lot of diversity in what you can do in engineering, and I hope that it is a career that many of you will choose. But what I'd like to speak to you now is why choose engineering at UCD? Well, there's a number of reasons for choosing engineering at UCD. UCD is ranked among the top 1% of universities in the world. We can give you a world-class engineering education. We have a wide range of engineering degree options, the widest range in Ireland. You can do six to eight month internships if you choose to do our ME programme. We have lot links with major employers in Ireland and abroad access to non-engineering modules across UCD through the UCD Horizons programmes and we're accredited by the professional bodies such as Engineers Ireland, IOM3 and iChemE. So I just mentioned we have one of the widest range of engineering options in Ireland and you can see from the slide here what that includes from biomedical engineering through civil engineering to structural engineering with architecture. There are a huge amount of choices here available for you at UCD. So when you come into UCD engineering, what will you experience? Well, first of all, if you come into stage one engineering, it's a common year for all of our students. And what that means is that you aren't actually choosing which engineering discipline you're going to take at that point. Instead, you're getting to experience lots of different disciplines so that you can make an informed choice when you come into second year. The kind of subjects you'll encounter in first year are chemistry, maths, physics, etc., where we try to bring you all up to the same standard because you'll be coming in with different experiences from your leaving cert or your second level education. You will also get to experience subjects in all the different disciplines of engineering so that then when you come to stage two, you'll be making a choice about which one of those disciplines you want to engage in. So that could be civil engineering, chemical and bioprocess engineering, uh, mechanical engineering, electrical, electronic engineering. You also have the opportunity, if you so wish, to take some time and study abroad in stage three in one of our partner universities. When you get to stage four and five, there are other choices that you need to make. So at stage four, you could decide that you were going to finish out with a bachelor's of engineering, or you could say, I just want to specialize some more and go on to do our ME, the master's in engineering. At that point, you start to specialise more deeply in whichever area that you've chosen and some of the areas start to, to diversify into more deeper learning of those kind of subjects. As you can see from the slide, there are a lot more choices at stages four and five. So what kind of points do you need to get with, to come into UCD engineering? Well, our students coming in here tend to be high achievers. And as you can see, the points over the last couple of years have been very high, 511 in 2019 and 521 in 2020. You have to have six Leaving Cert subjects, English, Irish, Maths with a minimum of H4 and one Laboratory Science with a minimum of H6 and then two other recognised subjects. What do you study in your first year? Well, I've kind of touched upon this earlier on when I was speaking. You will do a lot of subjects like physics, chemistry, maths, but you will also get to do some subjects in the engineering disciplines, energy engineering, electrical, electrical electronic, mechanics, creativity and design, engineering computing, and then you can also take some options and in-program electives um, and across the UCD horizons choose lots of different types of modules from archaeology to zoology to specialising in different languages etc. There are lots of opportunities for you under the UCD horizons program. So how will you learn? Well it's quite different from what you will have experienced at school and we have a combination of different ways for you to actually learn. 
First of all, you'll have what we would call lectures, which are the quite traditional way of learning. When you will come in, you will have a lecture giving you your lesson, explaining to you the different concepts, etc. Um, and a lot of the time going through the fundamentals of what you need to have to be an engineer. But in parallel with that, you will also have laboratories. And that's where you get to do the really fun stuff, where you get to come in and experience what being an engineer is really like making things, doing things, taking measurements, and learning how to analyze, learning how to do experiments, learning how to report, present, and describe your results as well. We also have tutorials, which are smaller groups where you will work on problems with, with your lecturers, get the opportunity to ask questions a bit more than you might in an actual lecture, design exercises where you might work in a group on real world designs, and project work. Again, working a group sometimes, but also working individually. What you'll find a lot is as you go through the programme, the emphasis on that kind of group work, that design work, that project work, that laboratory work becomes greater as you move into the area that you want to specialise in. So let's look at the different schools that we have across the college. So first of all, we have a school of civil engineering. Um, and in civil engineering, what civil engineers do is they're usually responsible for looking at infrastructure, how you plan that infrastructure, how you build it, and afterwards how you maintain it. And we'll work in a lot of different areas like construction, infra infrastructure development, transportation planning, but also a lot of our civil engineers will go into areas outside of engineering, like management and finance, which is something you'll probably see as common across all the engineering disciplines. We also have structural engineering with architecture, which sits within our School of Civil Engineering. But the difference here is that our civil engineers would look at infrastructure more broadly, whereas our structural engineers look at how buildings and bridges are created. They also work closely with architects to understand what arch how architects work and how we make things look well as well as make them stay up. Biomedical engineering is a really important and, and interesting area of engineering. Um, this looks at how we use traditional engineering methods and techniques to solve problems for healthcare, to look at how we can make things better for people. And they work a lot, of, lot around a very wide range of areas, um, in particular in the medical device industry, which is extremely important to the Irish economy. The School of Mechanical and Materials Engineering is our, one of our biggest schools in the college. And mechanical engineering is concerned with design, manufacture, operation and testing of components, devices or systems. And our mechanical engineers again work in a lot of different areas, looking at developing new energy systems, more and more looking at alternative energy systems, but also in robotics, communications and entertainment devices. Our School of Electrical and Electronic Engineering has really two main areas, electrical engineering, looking at energy use of electrical uh, electricity and focusing on the generation, transmission and final use of electricity that powers our world. And electronic engineering is concerned with the design of circuits and systems, um, both hardware and software that underpin the ongoing revolution in mobile communications. And again, work in a wide range of areas. So chemical and bioprocess engineers are interested in transformations, transformation of crude oil into petrochemicals or transformation of chemicals to pharmaceuticals. And the pharmaceutical industry in Ireland is huge. It's one of the most important parts of our economy. Our chemical and bioprocess engineers work in a wide range of areas in looking at food manufacturing, safe and efficient mass production of medicines, etc. So I mentioned to you earlier on about studying abroad and in your stage three of the UCD engineering program, you have the opportunity to study in one of our partner institutions. And we have partner institutions around the world, the US, Europe, Australia, Asia. And many students love to take this opportunity to widen not only their educational experience, but also their cultural experience. If you decide to stay in Ireland, however, and can do your stage three here in UCD, you will find that a lot of students coming from our partner institutions to UCD, so you still get that opportunity to mix with lots of different types of people in your engineering career. You will also undertake an internship in your UCD programme. We have very good links with some of the best companies in the world across all the engineering disciplines. Um, it's usually six to eight months. We help set up the interviews to get those positions. Um, and last year, all our students secured internships. What's very interesting about these internships is how useful the companies find them as well as an interview process or an extended interview process. And many of our students who do these inter internships end up working for those companies when they graduate a year later. So who employs UCD graduates? As you can see from the slide here, it's a huge range of companies um, across 
Irish companies and international companies. And you'll see some of the most well-known names in the world there, both in the public and the private sector. So engineers are very much sought after in traditional engineering companies. But again, you'll also see quite a lot of financial areas and financial institutions employing engineers because of the analytical and numerical skills that you could bring to those jobs. So again, just to remind you, why do engineering and why do engineering at UCD? Well, engineering is a great job, a great career that can bring you all around the world and doing engineering in UCD offers you the greatest opportunities to do the kind of discipline that you want. We have accredited degrees, our academics are the leading academics in the world. We can give you opportunities to study abroad, to meet a diverse range of students here. And also by coming to UCD, you get that opportunity to engage the clubs and the societies, etc., that we have here in UCD. So I hope very much that you will come here next year and I look forward to meeting you. Just to remind you, we have an engineering opening evening on the 14th of January. Um, you should register as soon as possible on ucd.ie forward slash my UCD forward slash and both students and parents are welcome. And it's a great opportunity to hear a little bit more about each of the different engineering disciplines and to speak to academics working in those different disciplines. You also get the opportunity to meet students who come through the programme and talk to them about their experiences. Okay, so um, as Laura said there, uh, my name is Michael and I'm a final year mechanical engineering student here in UCD. So I'm going to give you a presentation on um, what the student engineering experience is like here in UCD. So to start off, um, what I'll do is I'll give you a little bit about my background. So I done my leave and search in 2016 and when I was in school I had a big interest in stuff like um, gaming, computers, um, anything to do with uh, like moving stuff like cars, motorbikes, planes. I had a real interest for this and also subjects like maths, physics and applied maths. So I had all these subjects that I really liked and I had all these interests and, I, and, I, and in sixth year I didn't really know how to kind of put them all together and I didn't actually know what engineering was and then when uh, one of my friends kind of mentioned it and, uh, and I kind of looked a bit into it, I just couldn't believe that there was a, a discipline or a job that sort of brought all these things together. Um, so it was it was definitely when I when I found out about engineering I knew for me and I I honestly couldn't recommend it more. So why study engineering? So this this was something that that I that I always thought was was a route I was going to go down. So I always saw myself as a big problem solver, um, very creative, able to come up with new things. And engineering is definitely something that can help you grow these skills. So if you have any plans on want to you know become something like an inventor or creator um, a role in engineering is definitely the, the degree you'd want to be thinking of uh, doing um, just in terms of the degree itself it's it's a really well-rounded degree um, you can work just about any of the jobs that are out there um, so as uh, Laura said there and um, Aoife that a lot of engineers they, they don't necessarily become engineers they can spread off into the financial sector and stuff so if you're not really sure about what you want to do um, an engineering degree can really set you up for, for a wide range of jobs. Um, so as well, if you're thinking of becoming an entrepreneur, like I'd say myself in a few years time, I definitely will be setting up something like my own business or entrepreneurship and engineering is a degree that's definitely going to help me along the along with doing that. Um, so just like, as I said, there's just endless job opportunities. You can literally do anything you want with an engineering degree. So don't, don't think that, uh, oh, just just because, you know, I'm going to be doing this job for the rest of my life. You can do just about whatever you want with this degree because of the skill set that you get and the talents that you develop as an engineer. And just in terms of your contribution to society, like it, it's, you compare this to other jobs. Um, like the, if you think of some of the products that you, you deal with in a, in a normal day, just think about, you know, how, how, how they've gotten here. And you'd be surprised how much... Um, contact engineers have had with them from designing them to building them and, and, and bringing them to you. So, yeah. And then in terms of financial benefits, you know, you, like there's a there's a variation in it, but like if you're to become an engineer, you, you'll definitely um, uh, be well benefited from it. Okay. So as you can see as well, you'll always be working with frontline technologies and, and you'll always, you'll always have something that that'll keep you interested. So it, being an engineer on a daily basis, it can, can be a very creative job. As I said, you'll always be prob solving problems. So that's, if you were to describe engineering to someone, uh, I'd say you're basically just a, a, a kind of an efficient problem solver. And, and that, that's, that's your job title. So 
Um, so why study engineering here at UCD? So if you're thinking of doing an engineering degree, I'd say definitely study it here at University College Dublin. So a few of the reasons why, just the campus. So if any of you have been to the campus, it's a really beautiful campus. The location is, is really prime here in Dublin. Um, it's probably one of the biggest campuses in Europe. And definitely like over the years here, I've, I've definitely grown to love the campus. And, and as well, like we'd say the students here, like there's nearly 30,000 students here. So you're definitely going to make a lot of friends here at the societies. There's definitely going to be something here that's going to interest you. Um, so we have like the engineering society, like the investors, entrepreneur society, like there's any amount of societies and you're going to meet a lot of new people through societies. So whatever college uh, you go to, uh, hopefully it's UCD, definitely in your first year, um, get involved in societies and meet new people because that's where you'll make a lot of your friends. Um, just as well, like, the standard of education you receive here in University College Dublin is top class. Like I really do think that when I came in here in first year to the point where I am now in final year, the amount of stuff I learned and the way I've developed my skills is it's really like, I just can't believe the developments and, and, and the strides that I've made here while in college and UCD. So um, definitely the standard of education you'll receive will be top class. And just in terms of employability, as I said, I just can't say it enough. You can work just about any job. Like it, it's just this, this degree that, that really, you know, it's, it's just this blanket degree that can just work about any job. It's just the way you think. It's, it's the way an engineer can take a problem and break it up into smaller problems and even smaller problems until the problems become uh, workable and doable. It's, it's just, the, it's just the, the way an engineer looks at stuff, what makes them so employable. So this is just the, the campus here. Um, just, it's a really pretty campus. You can really, really fall in love with it. Um, so yeah, so just a little bit about, um, what it's like the, the engineering route you'll take if you do study uh, engineering here in UCD. So um, uh, the degree you'll apply for um, on your CEO will be a four year degree uh, and you get a bachelor of engineering for that. And that's, uh, that's what I applied for. Um, but then there's also an option to do an extra year here um, and you can get a master's of engineering. And so for, there's not many ways that you can uh, sort of just add on an extra year and get a master's in engineering so usually it's like a two year but it's built in really well to the degree here in UCD so definitely um, you know you'll come in doing your four-year degree that's that was my idea in first year but it was just so easy to get a master's that I just said why not so and then just to kind of break down on what the what the weeks will be like so going through with the first to first year to fourth year um, you'll have about maybe 10 to 20 hours of lectures a week it'll vary um, so <laughs> you might be a bit envious of uh, we'd say other um, students here in UCD, some of them might have a little bit more time than you. Um, so, but you have to remember that that your your degree will um, result in you probably um, having a, a certain skill set that they might not have. So, that that at that time that you do put into your degree is going somewhere. So, um, but definitely, like, there's loads of time um, to do stuff in your spare time. Like, you'll see some of the projects that I've gotten up to in my spare time um, later on in the presentation. Um, but definitely. Um, you will you will be kind of hands on here in UCD, and um, tr in terms of like uh, the other breakdowns, so there's lectures and there's laboratories, and there'll be a, a nice bit of report writing. So like in first year, my report writing was was very basic, um, whereas now I'm able to write uh, some very high quality reports. And so, just the skills that you develop here and your professional writing will get um, very well developed here in UCD. Um, maths as well. So I'm a big lover of maths. Um, I teach it. Um, grind spare time for nearly it every year I've been in college and uh, just that every semester you will do here in UCD there, there will be a, a maths module for your undergrad so just to kind of expect it um, and like you will develop like my math skills and even cert were very good they are excellent now from some of the modules that I've done um, here in the engineering degree and even when I'd be talking to people that would do uh, like pure mathematics and, and ma other mathematical um, degrees they're, they're very surprised in the amount of maths that a, an engineer knows and when you walk them through oh yeah yeah we've done that and, and they're very surprised um, so it just shows the amount of stuff that, that you get up to here with the engineering degree in UCD. So in first year first year is um, great in the sense that it's an omnibus uh, so what that means is you come in and you do all the degrees so you don't actually have to specialize like I'm a mechanical engineer I didn't have to make that decision in first year so I was able to try out electrical engineering electronic engineering um, so that, that definitely was something that was, that was advantage to me. Um, so in second year then, you'll specialize. So I became a mechanical engineer um, and I made that decision in second year. And that's loads of times. So you see so much in first year that, that we'd say um, 
helps you make that decision on, on, on what discipline I'm going to go in. Um, and then we'd say in fourth year as well, if you do the um, masters like I have, you, you'll do placement and the placement is really nice. It, it gives you a kind of break from the college work and you go out into the workforce and you can actually apply your skills and you, and you can make a bit of money too. And it's just generally, uh, it's, a, it's a nice addition to the degree. And then in your final year, which is if, if you do, well, you'll, if you do the four year degree, which is what you'll apply for through your CEO, you will do a project and a thesis at the end of that. Um, so you'll also do one in the fifth year, which is what I'm doing at the moment. So my thesis is on um, designing a trailer an environmentally friendly trailer for electric cars. So you might notice some of the trailers out there, they're not very optimized towards electric cars. They're, they're very heavy and bulky and steel trailers. So what I'm designing is a very aerodynamic um, uh, trailer that's lightweight and it is very suited for electric cars. So yeah, so um, what I'll do is I'm gonna walk you through some of my projects here. Um, so this will, this will just kind of summarize that, you know, the, the sort of skills that you learn here in UCD, you can, you can sort of go off and do projects like even on your own bat. And a lot of these projects I'll show you here, I've just sort of done them in my spare time. And it's just because of, you know, just the skill set that you develop here. Um, so as I said, I, I mentioned earlier about just the creativeness and the entrepreneurship, you know, definitely engineering is something that, that'll um, help uh, that side of you grow. Okay, so in third year, so this was a, a project we've done um, with the module. So this was a solar heater and it was made from recycled uh, aluminium cans, like beer cans and Coca-Cola cans and stuff like that. So what it's done was it took in cold air from the bottom and as the air moved through, which was pulled through by a little uh, like fan that you would find say on a computer or something and that pulled the air through the bottom and heated it up and out came the hot air at the top. So this was a nice little project, uh, very basic, um, just sort of came up with a smart way of recycling the aluminium cans. So another project here, this was one that I kind of done on my own bat uh, in second year. So what this is, you might know um, on your phone, you can unlock your phone with like a pattern lock, like say an S or like an L or an X. So it's, it's got nine pins, which you move through. Um, so what I done was a mechanical version of that. And this was a prototype here to see how it worked. So this was in second year of college. So um, you can just see that, that, that I was confident enough and I had the skill set to go off and do projects like this and prototype. And, there, and there's any amount of resources here in the college um, if you want to go and do uh, projects like this, such as, uh, so some of them parts there, they're 3D printed. Like some of you might have uh, some interaction with that. So there's a, a lot of resources in the college for 3D printing, um, if that's something you're interested in. Uh, <laughs> another uh, project here. So some of you might recognize that that's, um, just outside the sports center here in UCD. Um, so what this project is, is coming up to Christmas time, I'd say they're about two years ago. Uh, I done a project with the UCD Innovation Academy here. And what it was, was to recycle uh, these phone boxes and come up with a purpose for them. Um, so they're just sort of sitting there. So what we had the idea was to come up with like a snow globe. Um, so we were going to convert them into a snow globe with like a snowman inside and like snowflakes and lights and a fan blowing the snow around. Um, and the idea with that was, you know, it's it just sort of recycled it and it was, it was innovative. So that's why we've done it. Um, so it was a nice little project. Um, so that you can see there is the day that Aircom dropped off the phone box and they sort of didn't leave it in that uh, most advantage of a place. <laughs> so they left it in the middle of the, the campus for me to go and get and it was pretty heavy <laughs> so um, another project that I done here this was in third year uh, this is another one that I kind of done on my own bat um, so this was called gyroshoe and I actually got an award from uh, engineers Ireland for this so this is a device that uh, you'd attach to the side of your shoe and say like an elderly person it could detect uh, if they're upright or not so you know if you are standing up your foot is fairly firmly planted into the ground but if you are falling over on your side uh, you wouldn't have that same sort of uh, straightness in your foot or contact with the ground and um, so this device sort of detected that and um, yeah it was a great result in the end and um, so just in terms of extracurricular activity so you do your engineering degree and there's also a lot of stuff you can do in your spare time and um, so for all five years here in uh, UCD um, I've lived on campus and uh, a job that I've um, done was this residential assistant job. Um, so you can apply for this, I think, um, in second year. So you can actually work for the residences, you get your student accommodation, um, a good amount of it paid for, and uh, you get the guarantee of student uh, accommodation here in UCD. So it's definitely something to be aware of. Um, it's something I've met a lot of friends from, and uh, it's been uh, very beneficial uh, to me. 
Um, so just in terms of some projects that I've done in my spare time. So uh, I've done a lot of work for industry. So this here um, is work I do, uh, technical drawing on SOLIDWORKS and stuff like that for um, a company back in Mayo. So this here is a file holder for um, Allergan and Westport, they're a pharmaceutical company. Um, so this just kind of shows that there's a, there's a lot of projects that you can do um, just from the skill set that I've gained here um, in a, uh, as an engineer in UC. So this is another one uh, for Allergan as well. This is like a, a mixing vessel for some of their pharmaceutical product. Um, this here is a platform for walking around an energy, electrical energy generator in Pfizer Newbridge. That's one that I designed up um, about a year ago. Another one here for Allergan and Westport. Uh, so I designed the picker for the um, little syringe there on the right. So that's it there with the, after picking it up. Um, so just another thing with the extracurricular, uh, just the societies here in UCD, like, you know, that's as I said, it's, it's a place where you make a lot of friends. Uh, the engineering society, definitely uh, one to join. Um, UCD game socks as well, as I said, I was a big into gaming. And, and just sports clubs. So I done boxing um, up until third year in UCD. Yeah, third year. And definitely, if you're into sports, there is any amount of sports club. Even if you want to pick up a new sport, like you will have any amount of societies and sports clubs to join when you come here to UCD. Um, so just a little bit on the job opportunities. So as Aoife said, you know, it's just, it's just absolutely endless, like where you can work. You can work just about anywhere, um, be it an engineer or you can move into the financial sector whatever you want to do there. It's just, it's just, it's just absolutely endless. Um, so like I, myself, um, I'm actually planning on moving into the financial sector. So, um, I've applied for, um, places like SIG in Dublin here, um, to become a quantitative trader. So you might say that's a nice bit away from mechanical engineering, but as I said, it's just the, the skill set you get and the way you think as an engineer, it just, it can be rolled out across so many roles. And, um, as you can see here myself, um, you know, I plan on uh, moving into the financial sector and I do see myself maybe down the road uh, moving over to uh, America um, to work over there. So yeah, so that's the end of my presentation. Um, be sure to ask any questions uh, if you have them. Um, so definitely don't be afraid to ask questions because uh, it's a big decision uh, where you study and what you study. Um, so I can't recommend engineering enough. Um, so definitely if you can ask a question, if you have one, because you don't know, there could be someone else that has that question and you know, there could be a lot to learn from it. So as I said, uh, thanks for listening and um, yeah, don't be afraid to ask questions. Thanks. Um, so we have some time for some um, questions and answers now. Um, I know some people have started to put their questions in now. So if, if anyone else missed at the start, if you have questions, just type them in using the Q&A button, which is on the control at the bottom of your screen. Just type them in there and we'll try and get through as many as can. Um, so just I'll jump on now. And um, one of the first ones that came in was just around internships. Um, I know, Michael, you're on the, the five year program. So you would have done an internship if you, if you want to expand on the process. Maybe if you have any insights into if any of your students did an internship outside of Ireland or if that's an opportunity. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, um, I know there was options. There was plenty of options to go over to the UK and do internships. Um, like you could, you could always say if there was like a, an internship that you wanted abroad, you could definitely work with the career office to do that. Like I know um, my one, I had one here in Dublin um, that uh, I got through um, UCD careers and that, that worked out really well. And um, I actually ended up getting my, my master's paid for through them. So that, that's always an option as well. So that was a really good result. Um, so there, there's any, ama any amount, like it's, it's, it is, and you can definitely study, uh, I mean, um, work, or work uh, your placement abroad. Right, that's really good. Um, and just to say we have that, I know um, Eva mentioned it at her, in her presentation, we have the two internship managers within the college who do a lot of the groundwork as far as making the connections and, and the, the job specs with the companies um, and for the students. So that's a really great resource that we do offer um, in UCD as well for our engineering students. And um, there was just another question around, obviously the UCD Horizons uh, program and the Horizons modules would be something that um, people coming to UCD would be really interested in. And um, maybe Michael, if you could comment, maybe did you take an opportunity to do subjects outside of engineering as far as your Horizons modules you could choose or did you choose to do in program electives and maybe a little bit about that? Mm, so I've done a few um, modules outside program. Um, I've done some of the Innovation Academy modules um, for like creative thinking and um, like entrepreneurial stuff. Um, I also done some computer science courses, um, just sort of getting my coding skills up. 
Um, so they'd, they'd be the examples of modules that I took outside of engineering, but they were all still kind of leading back uh, towards, you know, um, a pathway in creative thinking and problem solving. And then just in relation to the Horizons module, generally speaking, students can um, take it from anywhere in the university once it fits in with their particular timetable and also once it's at the particular level that they're at. So first year students aren't going to be taking subjects, you know, from third, fourth or fifth year or anything like that. So it has to be within your, your correct level as well. So I would just, mm -hmm. just be aware of that. Um, and then just in relation to students who may be going from the, you know, thinking of the five year program, going from the bachelor to the master's, the extra choices that open up at that stage, Aoife, maybe if you want to comment on, um, is there, you know, is, you know, how is that done? And do students have unlimited choice as far as what they've chosen at bachelor's level and what they can choose for the master's? So there isn't unlimited choice when you move from the, the stage three to the master's. So depending what you will be able to choose for the ME will be dependent on what you chose in the BE. Um, the only exception is the engineering with business. So you could be in, for example, civil or electronic and decide that you want to move in and do an ME engineering with business because that isn't in the BE program that 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 only is an on offer once you go into the ME program uh, but there is there is always a link between your BE and ME. Okay great that's good to know and then there's just one or two um, around the entry requirements obviously and um, one was Irish mandatory and yes unfortunately um, unless you have an official exemption and you're coming from the leaving cert and to the CEO system Irish is compulsory it's not an engineering specific requirement it is a university-wide uh, requirement um, and then also one um, question was around doing um, maths obviously for the leaving cert would need to be at a higher level we, we can't take students from an ordinary level mm -hmm. and um, it's just because maths particularly there's just so much maths yeah yeah exactly there's just so much maths that I don't think if someone was doing ordinary level wouldn't probably be able to cope with the level of requirement um, for an engineering course unfortunately and yeah. um, yeah. So yeah, we just got a couple of questions around that. Um, and then also just around, um, Aoife, maybe if you wanted to comment mm -hmm. on students who may be going to do, to do the, the five-year program and into the master's, is that final year part of the free fees initiative or would students need to pay additional fees for that year? So, so you do have to pay, pay fees in the, the fifth year of the master's. Um, yes, so that's something that you need to kind of think about when you're coming into the program. As Michael said, you could be very lucky and have an intern company that decides to pay it for you, but you can't really bank on that when you're coming in to the degree in the first place. So there are fees. I'm not sure what the level is, Laura, but if, if someone wants to know, we can obviously follow up and and let them know after this yeah yeah sure um, and then also just in relation to obviously some students who would be interested in maybe the study abroad opportunities that UCD engineering has to offer if Aoife, you maybe wanted to comment on that and it was just the specific question was around do students pay extra fees for that particular year or how does that work no I, and Laura correct me if I'm wrong they don't they're based they are UCD students so you could go to a university in the states for example where the fees are extremely high and you will not be paying the US fees. You are a UCD student, so you will be paying the UCD fees in, in that country. So that's yeah. why it's extremely popular with a lot of students. Yeah, no, that's right. If we have a partnership agreement with the university, the fees that you pay for UCD follow you to that institution um, abroad. Um, Michael, I don't know, you, you didn't do study abroad or do you know some of your, your classmates who maybe did study abroad and the experience that they had? Yeah, I didn't do it now, but I, I heard I've heard good um, stories of it. The, um, some going over to like uh, San, Di um, San Diego, is that one of them? Yeah, yeah, and um, really enjoyable time. So definitely, it's yeah. it's something if it works works well with your degree to do it. And so there's different disciplines, so it 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 works well with um, some of them very well. Yeah. Right. Um, and then there was just a question around um, if someone was looking to maybe do R and D or research and development careers. Mm -hmm. Um, engineering degree do, do students do, would you think students would need a master's for that would they need to do a PhD or could they could they get those kind of jobs with the undergraduate part, part of the well, you could get those so going into industry and ending up in the R&D department if that's what you're interested in you don't need a PhD to do that obviously if you are interested in doing a PhD we'd love for you to stay on for an extra three or four years but industry don't need you to have a PhD to bring you into their R&D parts of their, their, their companies Great, that's, I think that's good to know. Um, and then for maybe someone who's interested in more the environmental aspects of engineering, environmental engineering, although sure. you have a specific cohort of students and, and degree for that particular area, but it would touch on a lot of different disciplines that we offer. Um, maybe if you could expand on the kind of opportunities so, that students are interested in that area. Yeah, so generally in environmental engineering, it depends on whether you want to be an environmental engineer or you want to work in areas related to, to environment, the environment. If you want to work in the latter, as Laura said, 
you know, you could be in mechanical or, or, or um, in energy engineering and you'd be working in areas related to the environmental. If you want to be what we would traditionally call an environmental engineer, that's usually through civil engineering that you would do that and you would study water and wastewater treatment, et cetera. Um, and that would allow you then to call yourself an environmental engineer. Um, and then also, obviously, um, Michael, you touched on it also about how, how diverse um, career opportunities are with an engineering degree. Um, and someone was just asking about what the, you know, what disciplines of engineering give them the most diverse career. Um, I'd say all of them, but maybe if either Aoife or Michael, you want to expand on, on that a little bit. <laughs> um, so I, I'd be a big advocate for mechanical engineering. Um, it's, the, it's, the, it's probably the broadest of it. Um, if you're looking for, if you're not fully sure what you want to do after college, um, mechanical engineering probably it because you can just diversify so much. It's, it's, it's so wide. And I'd probably say civil and mechanical. The two are, I would always traditionally for the last 50 years have been the two that people went into when they weren't always quite so sure um, because they're the most diverse and the most general types of engineering. Yeah, no, I, I would agree with that. Um, but then also all aspects of engineering that we do offer Absolutely. opportunities. So it really doesn't matter. I think once you have an interest in the, the discipline that you do choose, you'll, you'll do well career wise. And there's plenty of opportunities regardless of what discipline mm -hmm. you do choose. Um, Michael, this one might be just for you, because um, obviously you're in your final year and fifth year. Do you, do you start applying for jobs while you're still in college or do you wait till you're finished or how does that normally work? Or do you think there's opportunities to get a job before you even graduate? Yeah, so um, the, I, I've applied to a lot of places there um, in my fifth year. And you can also, like, it, it's not going to be too much of a hassle if you don't want to start applying while you're in fifth year. But um, I have, so that, that would plan where I'll, I'll start work maybe a month or two after I graduate. But, um, you know, if you don't do that, you might start maybe six months after you graduate. So it's not going to make too much of a difference. Yeah, no, I, I'd agree with that. We have plenty of students who do get jobs before they even graduate and and outside that it is normally within the first six months of graduation um, and then we just got one or two questions around um, if uh, if any girls or female students are interested in engineering you know, kind of what that is like or if there's a good ratio of female to male students that we have in the courses Aoife maybe if you want to ask sure that. yeah I think for the last two years in stage one we've had around about the 30 percent level um, of women coming into engineering and um, often when I speak to female students they come in expecting to be very much the minority and are quite pleasantly surprised when they see that there's quite a good proportion of, of, of female engineers there. And that's getting better all the time, I think. So yes, there are. And, and in addition to that, we have quite a lot of um, increasing number of female staff as well. So there are people there who have been through it and come out the other end and can help you along that um, way as well. So if there are any girls wanting to do engineering, I'd really encourage you to to think about it and to come into the course yeah yeah no i i would agree um, and then michael just in relation to to yourself um you're in the latter stages of your degree obviously uh, do you find that engineering is a very intense degree and how much time have you given to your engineering degree do you find the timetable quite restrictive um or, or that kind of feeling um i don't know i i think i think it's fair um like i i know i'm i'm i'm, I'm building on a lot of skills like you, you you might be jealous sometimes of other courses and, and they might have less hours than you and, and less for workload but you do have to remember that that your degree is intense for a reason um it, it you are coming out of college um with a with a serious mindset and a serious way of thinking um so y you might feel it's intense i personally don't um but it, it, every hour you spend is worth it yeah um, and then obviously there's just one or two more questions around the maths component of the course. Um, if a student is doing, you know, obviously high level maths for the Leaving Cert, but they're not the best in their class, they're finding it um, a little bit difficult. Do you think that they'll cope well when they come into UCD? And is there any support available for students who are maybe struggling with the maths and component of the, of the course, Aoife, if you want to answer that? Yeah, so I think if you're able to get that minimum standard and come into us, we do have supports in place here in UCD, the Math Support Centre here, um, which has been operating for quite a while, where you can go and get particular support about particular questions or problems that you have. Obviously, as Michael's already said it, I've said it, Laura said it, maths is really, really important in an engineering degree. But I would say if you're getting through that higher level course or, and you're getting to the standard that you need to get to get in here, do not be put off by finding maths a little bit more difficult. Because again, even within engineering, there's differences in how much maths is used in each of the disciplines as well. So you can choose a discipline that, while it might be mathematical, will be less so than, than other disciplines um, within the, the programme as well. Yeah, um, and I think we have time for just maybe one more question before we have to finish up, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. 
maybe if the students who are decide obviously they don't have to decide now, but if students um, is there an advantage or a disadvantage for doing just the BE, the bachelor, versus the ME, the masters, um, and doing that extra year? Um, what were the advantages or disadvantages you might see for for choosing that option? Okay. So I think it's really it's it's down to what you want, um, and and for you it may be absolutely the right decision to do to come out of the BE and go into work because you can still become a chartered engineer with the BE, but the the professional bodies will require additional you to do some additional learning and to prove that you've reached the same level as someone coming out of the ME. The advantage of doing that ME is, you know, the things like you get the internship. So you get you an opportunity to work in a company. You do a thesis on your own as well when you do the ME. So you get to work on a project and, and go a little bit more deeply into knowledge. Um, so, and, and as I said, it's automatically recognized for chartership of doing the ME. But different things suit for different people. So it's not, you know, I wouldn't say for, to anyone, that you must do the ME or you must do the BE. It is really something that you need to choose when you come in and, and, and experience the course for yourself. I would say that the majority of our students, and um, the significant majority, really do stay on for the ME. Um, but as I said, you know, that's a decision and something we, we give you a lot of advice around that when you come to the point of having to make that decision. And there's always people you can talk to to see what suits you best when you come to make that decision. Uh, yeah, no, I think that's really good. I think the structure of the program that we have here in UCD means you don't have to make any big decisions right away. There's always decision points along the way and there's plenty of support there to help you make those decisions along the way. And that's true of the, the second year pathway when you're choosing that. And also if you're choosing to do the, either the, the four year or the five year program. Um, so there is quite a few questions that we haven't got to, but unfortunately we have to finish up for today.